What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to add levels in Revit 2024 for structural design. Okay? Levels. So you need to go to your section view or elevation view because if you're on the floor plan, you will not be able to create obviously your level. Okay? Level can be found on architecture tab. Look for datum. And then you can find there the level. So right now, I can't use that because I am on floor plan. So that's why I'm going to open up an elevation here. So let's say I go to I go to south elevation, double click. And then I now have here the two default levels. So what I'm going to do first is I'll just modify my level 1 and level 2. I'll just change the name. So you have couple of ways to change the name and then the elevation of your level. So the first one is you click the level and then just click the name or click the elevation here. So in my case, I'll just click the name here and then I'll just type uh, 01 entry level and then enter. Okay, so as you can see, it's now changed here as well. So in my case, there is no dialog box that pop up asking me if I want to re rename the corresponding view as well. Because a while ago, I already selected yes for that option. And then there is a small box there that you can also tick if you do not want to show that dialog box, which I have checked. So that's why there is no dialog box that appears on my screen. But in your case, if that is the first time that you will be changing the name, you will be able to see that dialog box. So you have the option if you want to rename the corresponding view like this one. Or if you want to just change the level and then you don't want to change the corresponding view. So you have two options. It's either you select yes or select no. So in my case, I selected yes. Okay, and now for this one, I'll change this. 0 to floor enter okay now i'm gonna change the elevation here so i'll just change this to 12 feet so i'll just type 12 since my default units for distance and length here is in feet so i just need to type 12 and revit will read it as 12 feet okay so i type enter or i press enter so there you go so if you want to type like uh, 12 feet 6 inches so you can just type like uh, 12 space 6 so revit will read it as 12 feet 6 inches okay so where can you find that setting so you can go to the manage and then you can select here the units or you can type un for project units so let's click that and then this is what I'm talking about. So you have the distance here that is set to feet. And then you also have the length here that is set to feet and inches. Okay, because the template that I'm using for this exercise is in Imperial. So that's why I have this uh, Imperial units. All right, so let me just cancel this one. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create level. So I want to create the level. At the same time, it will also create the corresponding view here. Okay, so that's why what I'm going to do is I'll go back to Architecture tab. I'll select the level here. So I have two options. So I have Line Tool and then the other one is Pick Lines. So I'm going to select the first option here. Later, I'm going to use the other one as well. So I'll select Line here and then here on my Options bar. So remember, this is an Options bar. So by default, your options bar, if I select your modify to terminate the level tool, options bar is empty. But if you select a certain element or select a command or tool, it will be populated with options that corresponds to the selected command. So that's why if I'm going to select level here, it will show you here options for level. Okay, one of the option here is make plan view. As you can see, make plan view is checked by default. So meaning every time you create level, it will also create the corresponding view here. Okay, if you only want to create a level, for example, you, you only want to have a reference. So all you have to do is to uncheck this one. All right, 
but if you want to have the corresponding view for that level so you need to check that one out okay and then you can specify here what plan view types that you want to create so i only want like the floor plan okay so i only want the floor plan and then i'll just select here okay all right so i'm going to move my pointer at the end of the level here Okay, as you can see, there's a temporary distance that is appearing. I can already move that to 12 feet like that. Or if you're having a difficulty, so once you see the temporary distance, so you can start typing the value. So like 12 feet. So I just type 12 and then enter. That's it. And then you move your mouse and then align that here. All right. And then select modify here to terminate the tool. Let's change this uh, 03 floor enter and as you can see it also creates here the corresponding view okay now the next one is for the roof level all right so I'm going to select the level tool this time I, I will use the peak lines tool peak lines tool it's important to specify the offset here offset distance so I want 12 feet so I'll just type here 12 and then you hover your pointer as, as you can see the preview of the level that I will be creating is showing above the dotted line okay if you want to create a level below so make sure you move your level below like like this one so you can see see that one if you move that up it will create the level above anyway so I'll just click this there you go and then I'll select here modify again it also creates now here the level so let's change the name here so this will gonna be my roof enter okay so there you go so that's uh, uh, that's how you create your level if you want to have the level head here at the other end of your levels so you can click one of the level and then here is the instance properties okay so take note of this so this is the instance properties any changes that you made here on the instance properties it will only affect the selected element or elements on the instance properties okay so there is another type of property which is this one type properties so any changes that you made here on your type properties it will not only change the selected element, but it will also change the other element that has the same type, like these other three levels here. They're all the same type as one fourth inch head. So that's why if I go to the symbol at end one default, if I check that one, if I select here apply for the symbol, it will apply to all levels here because they are all the same type okay so remember you have two types of properties for your element so you have the instance properties which any changes that you made here like for example you change the name here it will only apply to that selected level okay but if you go to the type properties it affects all the elements that has this type okay Anyway, so that's it for this simple exercise. So that's how you create your level. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.